Hey folks, let's make logical reasoning even more easier to understand. The major problem with logical reasoning is there are no concepts, no formulas as such. It's all about being able to understand the concept and using your imagination to apply whatever process are being done. So let's start with a simple concept like cube. So we know that a cube has six faces, one at the front, one at the back, two on the sides, one on the top and one at the bottom. So this gives us what? Six faces. Now on these six faces, if you focus properly, you come across 12 edges. What are the edges? Edges are the lines that join the two faces. Yes. So if you look at the top and the front face, we have an edge here. If you look at the top and the back face, we have an edge here. So like this, we have 12 edges coming up to what? Four on the top, four at the bottom and four on the sides, adding up to 12 edges. Along with this, we also have eight corners. Corners are nothing but where three edges meet. So one, two and three, these three edges meet at this point. This is called your corner. So we have eight corners, how? Four on the top and four at the bottom. Now let's talk about cutting these cubes and identifying how many number of pieces we come across. So if we have a cube here, now understand this is a cube where all the edges are equal. Yes. So if I have a cube here and I chop this cube into half in this direction, what do we get? If I make one cut here, I get two pieces. Yes. Now these two pieces, will they be cubes? Not really. No. Why? Because earlier, if they were, for example, two centimeter long, the moment I cut it, this becomes one centimeter, this becomes one centimeter. However, the rest of the edges, this is still two centimeter long, this is still two centimeters long. So it is no longer a cube, we get two cuboids. Same way, if I make two cuts like this, we end up seeing what? One, two, three cuboids. If I make n cuts, if I make n cuts, then I end up seeing how many cuboids? n plus 1 cuboids. Very good. So here we are making a cut only in one direction, only along one axis. What if I change this axis? What if I make one cut like this and the other cut like this? So what's happening? I'm making one cut along this axis and one more cut along this axis. So when I make one cut like this, I end up getting two cuboids. The moment I cut it like this, each of the two, two cuboids give us two more cuboids. So two into two, we get one, two, three, four pieces. Very good. Super. So we get what? Four pieces when I make two cuts, right? One along each. So what is happening? One cut in this direction. That is one plus one, two pieces. Same way, one cut in this direction, that is one plus one, two pieces. So two pieces into two pieces is four pieces. Same way, if I were to make cuts like this, two in this direction and two in this direction, what would happen? Two plus one, three pieces. Two plus one, three pieces. Three into three, nine cuboids in total. Will it still be a cuboid? Of course, yes, it will still be a cuboid because along the length, along the length, it is still two centimeters long. However, along the width, along the depth, we have reduced it to one centimeter by cutting it in half, for example. But then we were not able to do that along the length. So what happens if you are making cuts in two different directions, then number of cuts in one direction, let's say N1. So N1 plus 1 into N2 plus 1 gives us the total number of pieces that we get. Same, now what happens if I make the cut in three directions, that is along three axes. Cube, very good, three centimeters long, two centimeters long, let's say, so two centimeters, two centimeters and along the height also two centimeters. I make one cut like this, I get two cuboids. I make one cut like this, in this direction if I cut, I get two more, so two into two, four. And if I then cut it like this, I get what? 2 into 2 into 2, 8 pieces. And all of these 8 pieces turn out to be what? Cubes. Why? Because along the length, it was 2 centimeter. I cut it in half, 1 and 1. Along the width, 
I cut it in half so one and one and along the height also I cut it in half so one and one only if equal number of cuts are made along each axis yes along the three axis this this and this then we end up getting cubes so if there were let's say five cuts made in each direction so I get five cuts in this direction five cuts in this direction and five cuts in this direction I end up getting what five plus one six into six into six pieces that gives me 216 pieces so I hope this concept was easier to understand with a little more visuals added to your imagination the next time you come across a question like this in the exam you may not have the visuals but at least you will have a reference to help you understand it I hope this video was helpful folks. All the very best. Cheers.